So I'm Corey Mason at the PersonalReadinessCoach.com, and um, I coach military spouses and veteran women. Um, so coming into the Rock Stars on a Mission program was huge to me. First of all, I had never done anything like this before. Complete newbie, never coached, did not even have a business. Uh, so when I came in um, the first um, time around as a rock star, um, I learned everything from the bottom up. And the most important thing to me at that point was the inner work because I was a lost soul. And so once, uh, so that was part of it. Another part of it was the business aspect. I did not even think about the business aspect. It was only after halfway through the program where I realized, I looked around and I thought, oh my God, these people have practices. I guess I'm supposed to doing, be doing some kind of business stuff. So I went home after the first retreat. I incorporated, <laughs> got my tax ID number and started a business. Um, and then just continued on the inner work. I mean, this program has an amazing way of integrating inner work with the outer work. And so I just started by doing the inner work and just following the steps of we're doing a video this week, we're doing this, we're doing that. So I just like, okay, I'm doing this, I'm doing niche interviews, I am, you know, Whatever it was, I just went through the motions of, of doing this business thing, which I really didn't feel prepared to do. But I did everything that I was, you know, that was presented to me that I was asked to do. And it was amazing because coming from, and I don't want to say nothing because it's like I wasn't anything, uh, but, um, and can I say that this was my second rock? Uh, rock star? So this is my second year. So the first year ended up becoming... Um, inner work, although I did do a, all of the outer work. Um, and then the second, and it became a lot of personal work. The second year, I'm like, okay, now I can really focus on the business stuff. And I was ready to do the business stuff. And so having done it before, but now I was actually going out in the world. I was out at networking events. I was saying, I'm a coach. I you know, I do this, I do chakra work, I can, you know, get you to see what really the source of your blocks are. And just by being present, knowing that I was held in a very um, powerful space. So I felt very rooted in the Rockstar program. So I'm here, I'm held, I'm safe. And then from that position, I went out and it's been a busy year of networking. I was everywhere to the point that everybody started thinking, oh, yeah, she's the coach that does this. And I'm like, I, I have just been showing up at, at things, right? So I've been, um, my huge success is after this um, event, this Ignite event, I'm going back to Washington, D.C., where I live and, and work. Um, and I've been invited to coach at an Academy Women annual symposium. And these are women that went to the military academies. And they're mentoring the younger uh, military uh, veteran women or military um, service members that are women. And I was invited to coach um, amongst, there were five of us coaches, so we're a team of coaches helping military women in transition. And that came about because I, I came to the Rock Stars on a Mission and I learned amazing techniques and I learned that I have so much to offer. Um, and, and so it's been an incredible um, ride where I get to be who I am. It was, it was the, at, the, at the same time, the hardest thing and the easiest thing is who knew by, by being who I am plus these amazing business um, marketing skills that I'm learning as a rock star, that combination of the softer intangible skills plus the harder businessy skills has really positioned me in a way that I can most importantly serve the community I want to serve, which is the military spouses and veteran women. And then secondly, I get to do and be who I am and you know have a business, um, a viable business by doing that. So. Um, I totally believe in the Rock Stars on a Mission program, and it has, Margaret did say at one point that if not now, when? And when I first went in, it was like the most illogical time for me to 
embark on this undertaking. Looking back now, it's like if I didn't do it then, I don't know where I'd be now, and it'd be struggling at an even harder point, whereas now I'm in a perfect situ uh, place to launch.